Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to use keyboard shortcuts in Outlook to zero your inbox. So please keep watching if you use Outlook and you have enabled keyboard shortcuts and you want to learn how to use them to own your inbox. If you want to learn how to enable keyboard shortcuts, video 59 linked down below. All right, so gather your shortcuts. What does that mean? In this video, we're going to use Outlook specific keyboard shortcuts, uh, not Gmail, Yahoo, or Outlook.com, but you can enable those. Uh, video 59 will show you how to do that. Uh, but here, uh, to make what I'm going to show you work, there are four specific shortcuts that you need to learn reply, forward, archive, and send the email. And let's talk about those. So E archives the email, Shift plus F forwards the email. R replies to the email and control plus enter sends the email and we're going to demo all those right now. So we're in our inbox and I'm going to verbalize my keyboard since you can't see it. So I'm clicking on this email, pulls it up and I just want to archive this email. So I'm going to push the E button. You're going to see the next email just appear and that's because Microsoft by default will start you at the top of your inbox and it'll move you to the bottom. So from the newest to the oldest automatically. So when I push the E button, we'll see the next email in the row uh, or in the queue show up next. So E, and now I see the next email, which is right here, forwards the email. So I'm going to go ahead and push Shift plus F, which forwards the email. And you'll see here it gives me the opportunity to, uh, of course, put an address in here, type some words, and then Control plus Enter sends the email. What's most important is to then archive it, and it's gone. Now I'm going to show you how to reply to the email, which is the R button. And I'm going to push that right now. See here it tees up the email. Type in some words. Control plus Enter sends the email. There it goes. And I and I hit. Then I hit the E button to archive the email. And now we're at a task that we're going to talk about in a little bit. So that's how each of those works. It's pretty simple. You push the button, it does the thing. Um, <laughs> but how am I supposed to remember these shortcuts, Josh? And that's a great question. Uh, I would say a simple post-it note right there on the front of your computer until you remember it is an easy way to do that. Uh, post-it note, there you go. So I'm going to bring it all together as slowly as uh, I guess is necessary. Um, yeah, so here we go. <laughs> the point is to start at the top of your inbox and work your way uh, all the way to the bottom rapidly without bouncing. Again, that's cherry picking that email, sending your response, and then it brings you back to your inbox. Okay, what do I want to work on next? Pull this one up. It's this back and forth where you're just kind of moving around your inbox instead of just starting at the top and working your way all the way to the bottom, often without even taking your fingers off the keyboard. Uh, so that's our goal here. That's the point, how to do that. Uh, ended up with zero emails. So to succeed, we must use or apply the GTD two minute rule until we hit zero. And let's, I'm gonna talk about that next. So the GTD two minute rule, when you're looking at your email, you need to define the requirement. What does this email mean to me? This email that I'm looking at, what does it mean? What, what is it requiring of me right now? Is this gonna take less than two minutes to complete? I'll do it now. Is it gonna take greater than two minutes to complete? I will defer it to a trusted system. And this is the GTD two minute rule. Trusted system, that's gonna be my take. And so here we go. Uh, Josh's trusted systems, you need three to empty your inbox. A task management system, a time management system, and a knowledge management system. What is a task management system? It is anything that is not your inbox that manages your tasks. Asana, GQs, a blue analog notebook, anything that is not your inbox. Okay, time management system, Google Calendar, iCal, etc. cetera. Uh, Outlook Calendar, <clears throat> that is a time management system. Knowledge management system could be your computer, uh, Dropbox, Google Drive, somewhere you keep all your digital assets that you've thought about and decided ahead of time, that's where I'm gonna save that stuff. All right, so with those three systems, you can then empty your inbox very rapidly when you follow the GTD two minute rule. When you have an email that requires action, you simply add it to your task management system. 
or if you have an email that requires talking. And these often come disguised as very long emails with your thoughts. Uh, and that just is, that is what, that is a calendar invite masquerading as an email. So at that point, you just need to identify that this email requires talking and go ahead and schedule it in your time management system by sending the person that sent you the email a calendar invite. Is useful information. Here's the file you asked for and you save it in your personal knowledge management system or your corporate one, whatever. Uh, all of this together looks like this. And now we're gonna talk about what I have teed up back at the house. All right, so apply that GTD two minute rule until you until you hit zero um, and relying on your own trusted systems. I'm gonna tell you how this works and then I'm gonna show you. So it's show and tell in reverse. So identify the task, add it to your task management system, archive the email, which how do we do that? The E button, and then you move on to the next email, which could be to identify the talking requirement. So let's say you get an email that is a talking requirement. What do you do? You schedule it in your time management system, and then you archive the email. Uh, let's say you re receive some useful information you're going to save it in your knowledge management system, and then you're gonna archive the email using the E button. Forward the email, that is the Shift plus F option. So you're gonna compose the email, send the email, and then oh, Control plus Enter to send the email, and then archive the email. Coming up on the last one here, reply, which is a simple R button, like that. Compose your email, send using control plus enter, and then archive the email. Now I'm gonna show you how all of that works. Again, the point is to start at the top of your inbox, go all the way to the bottom without taking your fingers off the keyboard or coming out of your inbox to look for other stuff. You're just top to bottom until you're at zero. These shortcuts are gonna allow you or enable you to do that. So back to the inbox. What we are looking at here is a task. They are asking me, and I'm gonna make this a little easier for you to see. Uh, there, this, this Josh person is asking me to clean my room. Well, this is gonna take greater than two minutes, so I'm gonna add this to my task management system. You can just imagine me doing that, and then I'm gonna push the E button to archive it and move on to the next email. So I've added this to my task management system, moving to the next email. All right, the ethical implications of quantum computing. Uh, as you can see here, this is a very long email and then they're asking me their thoughts on quantum computing. Um, this is not a uh, email conversation that I wanna have. It's an in-person conversation. So I'm gonna schedule this in my time management system. So you can just imagine me doing that right now. And then I'm gonna archive the email and move on to the next. The file you requested. So this is an example of something that belongs in your knowledge management system. So imagine me downloading and saving the file in my knowledge management system and then pushing the E button to move on to the next email. Each one of these things has allowed me to get rid of the email. So each one of these things, each one of these, as you see me move the task, the time, uh, the calendar requirement, or scheduling the calendar event and then saving this file allows me to archive the email and never look at it again because I have these trusted systems, these places to put to put these emails, right? Um, without these systems, I hold on to these emails because email is my trusted system. So these three trusted systems allow me to move the content out of my email into those systems. All right, enough on that. Uh, I've got the file, I've saved it in my knowledge management system, I'm moving on to the next email. Okay, uh, also wanna show you the reply, forward, and send options. So just like we did before, I've got this email. I wanna respond to them, so I hit the R button. It's teed up my email. Uh, I type a nice response. I, I press Control Enter and it sends the email. And the last step is to archive it with the E button. Another email, oh, this is a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and forward it. So Shift plus F, it's ready to be forwarded. I find an email address, I hit the enter button. The tab key will move me into the body of the email if I wanted to add a C below, and then control enter sends the email. Now I'm still sitting on this email and I need to press the E button to move to the next one. And this can get faster and faster, especially if some of the emails you receive 
you know, you're able to kind of think about the response ahead of time or very quickly and just keep moving on. Uh, and as you can see here, it can all happen very rapidly as you just move through your inbox and I hit the F button instead of the Shift F and it brought this up. <laughs> um, I'm very much Gmail centered sometimes. Shift plus F will forward this email, add another email address, tab through with the tab button, add some additional words there, control enter, and you just keep doing this until uh, your, I'll go ahead and respond to this one, add a body to the email, Adds a body to the email, control enter sends it, hit the E button, and I can just keep doing this all day long. I'm gonna go ahead and hit E for the rest of these. And your inbox is empty. So what did we cover? All of this up here, and that's it. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and bring myself back up here. Uh, let you know that if you would like some more, um, this video brought a lot of the know-how. Uh, check out some of my other videos to learn more of the know-why. But if you liked this video or it was helpful, uh, please go ahead, like, subscribe, or share it with somebody else that could use it. Uh, remember, please, uh, you can get at me and you can find this outline in the comments down below. And please, if you leave questions, I will always leave answers. Thanks for watching and have a great day.